All right, here we are. Welcome to the next episode of Learning Chainmail with Purple Druid Presents. The next game is going to be played with these six millimeter figures. I have a lizard man army and a beast man army. The beast men here on the left, the lizard men here on the right. And to make this a little easier for us to follow along on video, I have laid out the figures as so with little cards that identify which unit is which, their stats, etc. And these are a little big. So what I decided to do was I have these little playing card, uh, two and a half two and a half by one and three quarter inch cards. And I went ahead and made some identification pictures. And so what I'm going to do is cut these out, put them on the cards, and that way I can leave those on the table with each unit. So for this particular game, we don't really have stats for the various types of lizard men and beast men. So what I've decided to do is I've set them up this way and we're just going to use the current stats and I will create an army list for them. All right, well, in any case, there we go. We have these beast men here. These are set up five to a base and we're going to call these levy infantry. They will count as five hit points per stand, if you would. We also have light infantry. Here you can see they are armed with bows. And so these will be the light infantry. We also have some armored infantry, heavy infantry. Uh, we're going to use these boars as medium cavalry. And then for light cavalry, we're going to use Uh, we also have a catapult for the lizard man side. We'll be using that. Ankylosaurus with a ballista. We also are going to be using heroes, <coughs> commanders, and we're going to introduce magic for this particular game. So for the magic, we'll have this shaman stand We'll have a commander stand. And then we'll have some heroes that we will add in. For the lizard men, we have this stand, which will act as a hero. And we have a second stand that will use this Triceratops as a hero as well. And then of course we have a command stand. And a shaman. So, these painted up pretty quick. They are... Uh, probably took about a week, maybe nine days to get all of this done. I have not painted the sides yet, so that is a failing on my part, but I will get to that as quick as I can. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and set up for a game. We'll put together a scenario, and then we will go over the various uh, parts of setup. We'll use the cards again, that we've been using for terrain. We'll lay out the terrain, set up the pieces, and then begin the game. We are going to make a couple of small changes to the rules since this is a six millimeter battle. We'll be going with one centimeter rather than one inch for all of the movement and ranges. 
and with the size of table that we have here being only 30 inches wide I suspect that will be a little bit more appropriate and we may have a game that lasts longer than four turns but again we'll see what happens so thanks for paying attention I'm looking forward to this future videos in this series are going to include an actual campaign battle from the World of Worth campaign that we're running and then I'm hoping later this month to run a game using the Dawn of Battle system and see if we can't come up with a way to merge the chainmail system with the Dawn of Battle system in a larger style campaign setting utilizing both strategic movement and planning along with tactical level battles. So thank you for watching and we'll be back very soon.